here. Waka, 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 waka. What's up, homies and nomads? It's Ultimate Cut Layton in the house. So we're back to more Mario Party 5. In the last bonus pod, we pretty much did Super Doom mode all the way up to the normal mode, all the way up to the normal difficulty of D1 tournament, aka battling with and pretty much like use machines just to destroy other machines until Peach kicked our butts with her own beautiful machine called a shiny tiara or something. So, yeah, we need to go back to Super Duomo later when we get enough minigame points to build pretty much a better machine off of, like, parts we get from minigames and such. Or, like, points we get from beating or you doing minigames and such. Which is where our next bonus video right now is going to come to, which is, par which is Party Mode. Wow, that was a sad, sad transition. But let me just say that this is future Clayton on the mic, not present Clayton here. And I would like to say that, and I would like to explain that party mode, the V, um, how I'm going to be doing party mode in Mario Party 5, or how I did did it, is I split the V, is that I pretty much did a 50 turn party. It was my first party of Mario Party 5, by the way. So like right now, like right now this won't be blind, but like the other two parts will be. And the reason for that is that I pretty much is, am doing a 50 turn party with Yoshi, Daisy, Waluigi, and Mario, aka, I guess, me, my lovely Sarah Selene and Princess, and Proton John and Mario, who's literally the staple over here. And this is basically part one we're gonna do, but I'm gonna be showing three turns of part one, where as before, I split the like pretty much the three videos of this 50 turn party mode by pretty much like the first part being like 18 turns the second part being like 17 or 18 and the third one being like pretty much the rest of the mini game pretty much the rest of the turns and in party mode you basically have these difficulties and such along with intense in case you completed story mode i'm going like alice on the explanation but and then you have to choose between the seven dreams of party mode and such which was Bowser's Nightmare, Toy Dream, Rainbow Dream, Pirate Dream, Undersea Dream, Future Dream, and Sweet Dream. And basically, in this party mode, I chose Pirate Dream, on which we didn't really did Pirate Dream during the story mode. It was our only dream we did not did in story mode, or our only party mode, or whatever and such. And I'm only going to be showing three turns of this as the first part. Because I did, did, I did record the entire party of Party Mode before, but like specifically part one of this is, has corrupted files, corrupted video files. So this is me, just me redoing pretty much three turns of this. The result will be different when we go to part two, plus the turn order, also, well, not the turn order, well, just everything about part two will be different than part one. I'm just only going to be doing uh, three turns of this, and when you get to part two, we're going to be like 18 turns into this. But this is just me showing pretty much a taste of party mode to start off, so you won't go into like part two being like, what the frick? Well, then again, you will kind of go be, be going into part two going what the frick, because everything will just be hella different. Welcome to the pirate dream. This is the world inspired by dreams of treasure hunting. Caves full of riches, pirate ships, that's what awaits you in this Swash buckling stage. First, let's decide the order of play. The order is set the first is Yoshi, the second is Daisy, and Mario is third, and Waluigi is dead last. I think this is actually the turn order I have in like part two. Like pretty much my old part two and part three recording of party mode. So this is actually accurate. The turn order at least. Like, I actually do get first here, and I think Daisy's second. Um, I might be wrong, because it's been a while since, like, I freaking seen, like, since I even recorded, like, part two or part three. Or, like, this entire party mode in general. And the star is located right here. So, basically, just like in every Mario Party game, the staple, well, I say every Mario Party game, the Mario Party not in tennis chilling right there so d don't get triggered but in every mario kart party game before those we pretty much gotta go to the star location and with our beautiful 20 coins and just pay 20 coins to get the star simple as that 
It's just kind of like Mario Party 4 and I guess 6 and 7, pretty much the other GameCube Mario Party games. You have a Bowser space right there. Bowser will do some naughty stuff. Like, there's a Bowser... There's Bowser Revolution in this game. There's, ba there's Bowser mini games. There's... There's even a Bowser bonus, which Bowser will give you as a tar, aka take away your star, but that comes in like a later point. We don't really get that in the party mode at all. There's a dual space, there's mushroom spaces, there's freaking coins and such. And yeah, the like. So I'm just gonna take my turn right now. Get a three coins. Blue space give you three, red space give you three take away three. Simple well, pretty much the old staple stuff. And you approach these capsule machines, and I think we already like seen this in the story mode. You go to this capsule machines, pass one, get a freaking capsule out of RNG instead of freaking pay one, which is kind of it, it's it's kind of uh. And Daisy got a hidden block, and if it was a star, I would freaking freaking ah! It's like why? Why she got to be the lucky one? Okay, whatever. But yeah, there is hidden blocks in party mode. One might contain a star, one might contain 10 coins that you just saw there. All that jazz. I got a Lakitu capsule. And also, because I already did a party, my first... This is already did party mode of Mario Party 5. Pretty much this 50 turn party already. Along with like another party in my own time, you're going to be seeing a bunch of minigames already unlocked up. And me knowing how to play those unlocked minigames, such as these. Whereas, it, when we get to part 2 of this, which is basically way, way back when I actually first recorded party mode, I have no idea what the hell these minigames are. But we have here Maze and Confuse. Work your way to the start in the middle of the maze, whoever gets there first wins. Gotta move, the walls on the maze change often, so keep an eye on the pathway. I kinda hate this minigame, cause it's semi RNG, cause they freaking change on you constantly, and I hate it. And I want this to die a little. See, I don't even know where I'm even going. And Waluigi already made it. Even though I literally know I was supposed to go right because that will lead me closer to that. No. The game's like, no. You're not going near that. Sorry. And Waluigi won the first mini game. And freaking is kicking both our butts with Daisy right now. This is just a first turn. I'm only going to show two more. Yeah, just after a mini game, you go to four turns, and that's it. Simple. Basically, your stable Mario Party 5, like Mario Party style. Now, the results here don't matter. I really don't care if I get the star or not, because the result, like, I'm I'm really just going to zoom back to Mario Party, like, literally part two of this, so it really doesn't matter. I'm just showing off, like, basically how party mode is, and then when we get to part two and part three of party mode... There will be serious matters afoot. <laughs> serious matters in a freaking party game. Never mind. Sometimes this game isn't that serious. Like, Jesus Christ. But it is good. It, it, it's very good. I really do enjoy this Mario Party 5, like, the party mode of Mario Party 5 a lot. Also, a bit of, like, warning. When it comes to part two and part three, and pretty much videos beyond this pretty much party mode of Mario Party 5, the audio will be a tad eh, as the game audio might be high, like sound a little higher than my commentary right now. Because right now you're basically hearing me over the game audio. Like, this is like louder than the game. But um, when we get to like pretty much after this video, the game audio will sound like higher than my like hella higher than my audio and there's no way i can like reverse it or change it or whatever until like we get to a certain point where i actually do know how to like deal with audio and such because i'm still kind of new to my capture card my new capture card the old the elgato and such so don't be a little pushy on it and such i will get better at you know dealing with these uh, i am improving on like getting back into let's play and such and Pretty much, um, recording and video software and editing and such. We have here Pushy Penguins. I didn't really go into the rules that much. You basically have to get, move through these penguins, which I'm doing a bad job! Oh, God, help Yoshi! Just gotta go through these penguins. I'll just push you off. There will be bigger penguins when time passes on. 
You can only move, you can't jump. And I'm already dead. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. And, it and whoever survives wins, by the way. Which is Daisy and Waluigi. But yeah, that's pretty much a whole gist of how party mode works and what you're going to be expecting in the later beats of this. So I'm just going to pretty much end it off once we do this third turn or whatever. Until I show anything else new off in the third turn. I mean, I don't even care if I get the Bowser space on this turn if I, if I want to show that off. Because I'm probably uh, going to show off the Bowser space. Also, a bit of warning, there might be also static in... Pretty much the VODs as well, as I really didn't know that when you record both the game audio, or when you record both the game and the the commentary with Elgato, it kind of like functions and mess makes error and makes a little static and, uh, and such. Yeah, that will be fixed. That th this is the only time where that is fixed actually. Like you, you're not experiencing any of the uh, any of that at all. But like we'll get to like pretty much the videos out of this, you will probably experience it and such. And I do fix it. I did already know the solution to this problem that you're going to be experiencing on the later videos. Like, pretty much right now. Uh, you're not seeing static. You're seeing a clear, beautiful 30 frame 720 nightmare that I, I call Mare Party 5 right now on Elgato. Not, well, is I think it's I think it's HD 60. I don't know. I think it's... No, it's just a game capture HD. It's just a game capture HD. Also, Daisy has the first star of the first party, whatever. It's not going to matter because the results will be different, babe. Get off my seas! Freaking... Good luck, players. Yeah, he stays out after you pretty much collected a star. Is she going to collect another one? Oh no, she gotta pay 10 points. That's a gimmick of this. You gotta, in order to move like to certain passageways, you have the thwomp and you have the womp right there. You have to pay like 10 coins or such just in order to like move to the, like where they're past, like where they're blocking and such. That's another thing. Also, you have this boulder right here when you step on the hazard space that will just move you along with any other player along pretty much saw you back like me right now. I move and you just move to this space right here. Along with like any other players on the, the boulders path, so it's kind of like that Mare Party three happening in the first board as well. I think it was like a snowboard as well. It was like snowy, snowy mountain or something. It, yeah, it's basically like that happening, except you don't have like the option to jump out of the way and such, as you do in like Mare Party three. So that was kind of like reminiscent. And hey, we get to show off Bowser, and I don't even care because this doesn't even count on to the actual results of the first party of Party Mode anyway. Ha ha! So yeah, you'll be the test dummy, Waluigi. You'll be the test dummy. Kind of funny too, since I mean, this I'm really just seeing Waluigi as Proton Charm right now, who always had these kind of looking mirror parties. Well, and we are going to be showcasing a Bowser minigame. Ah, happy time to be the loser. This time must forfeit all their coins. So whoever loses the minigame will lose all their coins. And pretty much how Bowser minigame is working. See, I have all of them on lock. Skulljin Kuljin is the one. Is that anybody that hit, get hit, like, um, any of explains right here. Select one of the three Kuljins to hide in. If Bowser Beams is on the Kuljin, you, you're in. You lose. There is really no winner of these Bowser minigames, and also, look at this freaking sick flaming background between us and Bowser. Like, I, I actually do pr praise the crack out of this freaking background of the minigame description and us right now. I, like, it's literally just all flaming, and, and the flame is just going into the center. It looks so freaking crisp and clean. Like, damn, this looks freaking lit. Like, look at this. Nintendo GameCube Mario Party 5 graphics, y'all. Like, Jesus Christ. It's not always best to hide in a cauldron with others spread out. But yes, there is really no winners in Bowser's minigame. There is only losers. And losers will lose whatever Bowser commands them to lose. 
It can be all their orbs. It can be half their coins. It can be all their coins. It can even be a star. I just don't want to lose. I select one with Daisy. I meant to shoot B or press B. But watch powers are literally just flame the B cauldron and I'm pretty much lucky. Never mind. No. Oh. Oh, oh, never, never mind. I, I should have just, I should have just selected B. Bowser seriously got all, Bowser seriously got all of us. I should have selected B. I am so mad, even though this doesn't count. I hate this game. And we have no money. We definitely have no money. Like, everyone actually lost that. I'd like to point out, that means everybody but Daisy stuck in second because she has a star. That's a beautiful, beautiful old man of what's yet. Uh, well, what have already came already. Like, Jesus freaking Christ. Uh. Oh, yeah, and everybody's against her, by the way, so that's another thing. And we have a one versus three mini game called Curvy Curves. I think we already. Well. Oh, no, it's the Waluigi we're all up against. Guide your one wheel card and its trailer along the pathway. The first one to finish wins. I think I already did this minigame in story mode in 1v3 against a group of kids. It's basically like that. But this is also my first time being the one of the three players, not the one player freeing everybody. And it's basically the same thing, except you're working with three men. Well, except you're working with three people. I have better mobility. And if one of them Fs up, you're basically screwed because, yeah, 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 yeah. Th thanks, Mario and Daisy. Th thank you. Thank you. There's no way we're winning this, by the way. Oh, there's definitely no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you have to bump, oh, okay, okay. So that's basically it of part one of Party Mode and Mario Party 5. Again, in the next video, we'll be doing part two of Party Mode. Fast forward all the way up to the 17th or 18th, well, pretty much to the 18th or 19th turn of Party Mode. And I'll be back to my lovely present self. So if you love this, uh, this show, this part one of the showcasing of party mode, even though it's a little weird and such, a tad weird, um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe by hitting that big yellow button, and smash that bell in order to get your lovely notifications or whatever I try to upload or comment or whatever. This has been Ultimate Clay, and this has been part one of the party mode of Bear Party 5, and I'll see you guys a couple of months back along with a couple of turns forward of party mode in Mario Party 5. So until then, clap bombers, baby! Peace out, y'all. Woo, yeah!